Summer plants are still kind of hanging on, but it's not quite time for the fall crops. So a little warm out there, but in South Louisiana, if you look close enough, you can always find something going on. The days are getting shorter and the sunlight less intense, but in South Louisiana, the garden is always busy. We do see them way more active in fall. This is when the, the activity picks up big time. It's that time of year when the sod web worm can become active. And like any caterpillar, it's in pretty constant search of food. Caterpillars are voracious eaters. They have to put on 4,000% of their body weight in less than a week. So that kind of an organism can really make a huge impact on vegetation and growth. Those little green caterpillars will show up after cutting the grass. And leaving your lawn exposed to such a hungry creature can lead to some problems. But protecting the lawn is pretty simple. But we can reduce our mowing, raise the height of the deck, and enjoy all the bird traffic that's going to be visiting the yard. So just do more bird watching and less mowing. By simply leaving the grass a little longer, it gives the worm something to eat without leaving the lawn barren. And this time of year, the webworm can even offer a little bit of that spooky aesthetic just in time for Halloween. You know, when we look up at our pecan trees and they're covered in these webs, Halloween's right around the corner. It's free decorations as well as a songbird savings account. Most of the time they show up on trees that are losing their leaves anyway. So having them eat through the leaves won't actually cause any damage to the tree. We'll also see webworms in our pecan trees and we don't recommend spraying for those either. Your pecan trees are about to lose their leaves. So we go ahead and let that caterpillar eat the leaves, which is going to inadvertently be converted into songbirds. And of course, it helps keep some of those leaves off the lawn, all while getting it decorated for the season. In Lafayette, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3. So like with many things, if you ever really want to kind of help out, help out some of your other plants by keeping caterpillars out of it, you just kind of leave other things to grow for them to eat. And if you do leave some of those worms around, it really does bring in some of the songbirds into your yard. And like I said, leave the lawn a little bit longer. They'll stay in the lawn and then it can keep them out of some of the other foliage as well. And then again, of course, the, the webs that you see up in the trees, all those leaves are gonna fall off anyway, so mm -hmm. just uh, let them have it and then you'll, you'll fill the tree up with birds. 